So we work that first control where we take the thumb on the back of the hand and we bend it, all right? There are a couple things. Before we start taking this knife away, let's use the knife. If he punches, yeah? Maybe I wanna go like this. And you know what's good about that, right? No fingerprints, right? Right? You hear me say that all the time. No fingerprints, what happened? Oh, officer comes up, what happened? I don't know, he started stabbing himself. And when they start doing the, you know, the CSI thing, yeah, no fingerprints, right? I'm sure they find another way to nail you, but you know, for the time being, this is just funny as hell, right? Wham, wham, cut, punch, wham. Yeah, so you can use that. Now, this brings us to the disarm. Disarms are incidental. Every time, if you fixate on trying to disarm a blade, you will fail more often than you succeed. And I'll tell you why. Because your, your, your focus of intent or your focus of attention is in the wrong place. If I go like this and I start, because this, this is actually how you're gonna disarm, and this is an acceptable loss. Remember I told you the first rule of knife fighting? You're gonna get cut. So you have to be willing to take an acceptable loss. And the acceptable loss is on the back of the hand. Now, if you look at my back of my hand, yeah? You can see I've taken some acceptable losses. Am I here? Yes. Therefore, these disarms do work. They do work. But you can't focus on the disarm. What's going to happen is you're going to take your thumb, grab their thumb, and go like this. There's a reason why I told you guys to put your hand in here. Because if you try to just do this, they're going to retain that blade. You want to kind of pry the thumb off. But if you went like this and try to, it's not going to work. That's why you've got to bend the wrist. You gotta bend the wrist so that they, they look like this. They, now the retention on the blade for them is a lot less. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use the back of my arm and I'm looking at the blade. Now this is a double-edged blade, all right? So there is no spine unless he uses a P3, uh, tactical. So now there's a spine. In that case, I would hit the spine with the back of my, because safer, right? It would be safer. But since he's using a dagger, which is dual-edged, I wanna hit the flat. That's why blade orientation and sensitivity is so important. So the disarm actually looks like this. So if I'm focusing on this, what'll happen is that I'll forget stuff like this. And life is not fair. It never is. But what I will do is when I go like this, I'm gonna punch, I'm gonna focus on punching his face. I'm just gonna put the dagger in the way. The focus of punching him in the face incidentally disarms the blade. Incident. What if it doesn't disarm the blade? So what? What was I trying to do in the first place? Punch him in the face. And again, it's that 90% rule, right? He has the knife in his hand, he's trying to retain it. Bam! Nobody's home. Now it's a lot easier to take that knife, isn't it? It's a lot easier because the mind is not in the hand. So having said that, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, back of your arm. What happens if you get scraped? Isn't that better than dying? Isn't it? If you take a cut here, and I have, if you take a cut here, and it goes through the tendon, you cannot pull a trigger. You cannot dial 911, you cannot scratch your head, because the tendon that closes your hand is right there. You don't want that to be cut. But you can take some really good cuts on the back of your arm and still continue fighting. And that's what this is. This is about retaining the ability to fight. Ah, I get cut, but I was punching him in the face. Now I can go back, because he's a little stunned. He's got two hands on this, and even if I have that cut, now I'm punching him. Now I can do all of these wonderful things, because I took his mind off the, the, what he was intending. And that's just called a focus of attention. You just have to move their attention around. And part of knife fighting is manipulation. Yeah, manipulating range, manipulating skill, manipulating deployment so that you are in a better position than they are. So let's do that one disarm. Again, thumb on the back, wrist turns, back of the hand as you punch the face. If your partner lets go, great. If they don't let go, great. Touch the chin, touch the chin. Because I'll tell you something else. I don't just punch. I have a knife in me. So when I go like this, guess where his focus goes to right now? My blade. Bam! still get the technique. Whether we're using a fist or a knife, it makes no difference to me. What makes a difference is whether you walk with the knife. Yeah. 
Let's go ahead and do it.